Good morning, good evening, or good afternoon, depending when you're watching this. This is the Rangers Journal lowdown on our upcoming opposition, Motherwell, and the League Cup tomorrow on Sunday. Um, this is a, a quick chat, a quick uh, show that we're going to be doing um, to give you a quick rundown within you know f- five ten minutes of our opposition. You can also, if you want to know more, watch our full preview pod, which lasts around fifty minutes to an hour where we delve in much deeper into the opposition and uh, Rangers in general at the time being. Um, our preview was on Friday, and that's still up for you to watch if you wish, wish to do so. But let's get jo- jump in. Um, I would first like to thank Premier VPN for sponsoring the Rangers Journal at this time. Um, you can get fast, safe and private VPN service from them at their website. Okay, so how are well, Rangers and Motherwell doing um, coming into this semi-final? Of course, we know that unfortunately Rangers are coming off the back of that defeat to Aberdeen, and so we're looking to see uh, the team show a response to that and hopefully come out with a decent performance. <laughs> Motherwell have been in the Cup since the group stages, beating teams like N Bersay and Montrose, um, and then the most recent rounds have put away Kilmarnock and Dundee United, while we put uh, St Johnston and Dundee away 2 0 and 3 0 respectively. In terms of our league form going into the game, um, Motherwell have been playing well in the league and are only a few points behind us in fourth. So we're expecting a tough game from Motherwell. Um, obviously, we played them and uh, once again come out with us, but uh, hopefully, as I say, we can uh, go into this game with something to prove and show that uh, we've got what it takes to turn things around. So what do we expect from Motherwell? They've been playing a sort of 3-5-2 or 3-4-2-1 combination. Um, tactic depending on who they've been coming up against. Um, it's gives them a lot of bodies in midfield for them to work and play around, um, using their speed in the wide areas to cause teams trouble. Lenny Miller is obviously their creative fulcrum. He tends to play in that centre spot or slightly ahead, depending um, again on the team that, that they are playing. Um, as they play the back three, though, this can lead them to uh, leave spaces. Between the three and five, that can be uh, exploited. We'll go on to see a little bit of that in a second. Um, but the other thing that I think we'll really need to keep an eye on is Motherwell's set pieces. Lennon Miller is very good at swinging in set pieces. Um, and indeed, on sports scene recently, they were dubbed the set piece kings of the league thus far due to the success they've been getting from them. So that's something that we will definitely need to look out for when we are in this match. Talking about those gaps, um, when they recently played Selig, they got joy from the gaps uh, getting through uh, into those spaces to score goals. You see in this highlighted shot, um, with the, the Celtic player driving through into that space, um, he manages to get the ball back and score from this position. Similarly, breaking down the wing, uh, you can see this large gap um, in the middle of the box, uh, which your player, you've got a Celtic player just in advance of the referee there who could... Uh, burst forward into that space. You've got Ida just to the right, who's got an arrow there, showing where he uh, does run into, um, where she scores from. So there's there's space there to be found if um, if you're clever about it and attack the, the area well, then we can get some joy against Motherwell and we find those spaces. In terms of danger men, obviously I mentioned Lennon Miller. There's no surprise there that he's the number one highlight for this Motherwell team. He's already got two goals and three assists this term, 17 key passes and over 240 successful passes overall. He's also been quite good with dribbling. Puts in a shift for the defensive side as well when needed uh, with 12 interceptions. The other player that you may not have heard of that I'd like to highlight that um, I've quite, uh, I, I think is uh, quite a dangerous player is uh, Tawanda uh, Mas, Mas Wanhise. Let's see if I can say that right. Um, he doesn't always feature from the start. He has come off the bench a few times, um, so his numbers aren't quite as high. Um, but he's a very quick uh, player. He's got two goals already. Um, he can be a handful for teams in the attacking area, having won 14 fouls. Got a decent amount of successful passes and wins just over half of his duels. Um, <clears throat> I think he could come come on into the game if uh, teams are tiring and cause a little bit of trouble. In terms of the Rangers team that I'd like to see, uh, we all know that Clermont is wedded to his system, so I've kept the system the same. As, let's be honest, that's what we're going to see. But hopefully um, we'll see maybe a little bit of rotation in terms of the players. Um, obviously, Tavernier was uh, suspect to another uh, error um, against Aberdeen, so it may be an opportunity to rest him again as a game. I think we 
we should be able to win without him. I have a feeling he will play, but I've put Sterling in anyway um, to give him the minutes. Uh, and the attacking positions, I do think we need to see some changes. I'm not 100% sure at this point um, if uh, Cherney has been cleared to play. So I've put Hadji in for his guile um, and ability to find those passes into those spaces I mentioned earlier. Um, I've also put Loveless in on the left for a bit of pace. Uh, a bit of trickery and put Barami into that centre spot that we're all hoping that we can see him in soon. And then again, resting Dessers and, and giving Imani the chance to uh, hopefully shine. I'd like to think that if uh, Loveless in particular, but Hadzi also can get uh, close um, and support the attack, then um, we can see some decent interchange between them and, and see them, as I say, playing in about the spaces that Motherwell might leave um, between their uh, back three and their mid five. And with Barami also there and potentially bad and coming in uh, with late runs, as I say, if spaces are there to be found. If they can be creative enough and they can play with the ball and uh, uh, work it around the pitch. In terms of who I think our game changer can be, I'm going to select Nedim Bajrami for this one. He's obviously hot off getting his first uh, league goal against Aberdeen. It was a really beautiful goal. And it was a goal where he drove into the, the, the defence. Um, and, and, and put the ball away. That's something I think he could get joy doing with Motherwell, particularly if he's playing in that central position. Um, he's already taken 13 shots uh, this season and has over 168 successful passes, which um, compares very well, obviously, with uh, Lennon. He's been creating chances uh, for the team, success, making successful dribbles. Um, and you can see in terms of his recoveries, he's doing a lot of work defensively as well, uh, which is a, bit, a benefit for that left side. Um, and I think we'll also just add steel to the centre of the pitch if he's playing in that more central position. Um, so as I say, hopefully he gets the opportunity to do that. But uh, even if not, I think coming off the confidence of his first goal, he hopefully gets his first league goal. So he hopefully gets um, the confidence there to, to go and pop in um, another one. In terms of the prediction, um, it's a must-win game. Obviously, they all are now at this stage, um, as they as they are in general. But in particular, you know, I think. W- doesn't matter ultimately about the performance as much as I would love to see a good response we just have to get the win to put us into the final to give us the opportunity I know a lot of fans right now do not rate our chances um, even if we get to the final and so I kind of feel like they don't care but you know a final is a final and anything can happen all it takes is for um, you know the opposition to not turn up uh, in their full verve um, a couple of injuries a suspension players to not feel well, whatever it might be, anything can happen in a one-off game, so we have to get ourselves into the final to give us the opportunity to have that one-off chance and potentially you know, get ourselves away off the ground. It's a tournament that Clement managed to win last season, so we're, we're there to defend our, our title um, and as they that ultimately is the absolutely most important thing. I want to see a good performance but um, it can be nothing but a win and get us into that final. Thanks for watching the lowdown this week. As I say, we'll be doing this for all our, our opponents moving forward. A quick five to ten minute video to let you know the absolute top headline facts about who we're coming to play and what we can expect from the team. Do keep watching Rangers Journal in the evening for the full shows, uh, which uh, will come through, including the full preview, including multiple of the panel who will go through their thoughts uh, of the team and, uh, and how all things Rangers are. But for now, I'll just thank you for watching. And remember that every night is Rangers Journal Night.